Oh, hi guys. So, um, I did a little poll on Instagram today and I asked if you wanted to see a makeup declutter or a makeup room tour. And if you were one of the two people that voted for the tour, guess what? That's what we're doing today. So, let's just, let's do a tour of my makeup room. And also, I'm aware of the fact that I'm like a huge loser and like weird, but I don't really care because I talked to my niece today and she told me that you can be whoever you want to be. So guess what? Hobo Cash is coming out and yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm a hobo. That's my style, you guys. That's like my true, my true style is hobo and I'm okay with it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Could you guys please subscribe because I want to get 100 followers or subscribers, subscribers. I want to get 100 subscribers by the end of the month. I don't know. Like, that's like 30 something. I could probably get that right. So subscribe, subscribe so that I can. I want to get to 100, please. Okay, so when we first walk in, I have this little stool here and I actually use this when I am doing makeup videos. So I just will move it over there and I keep it here all the time. And then look at this cute little plant hanger I got. I didn't, it didn't come with the clear thing inside. I bought that separately. But I think I'm gonna hang that up in the corner over there with a cute little plant. But it's just hanging out here until I get to it. Okay, and then moving on to my desk. So this desk is, it holds all my makeup and it's also where I sit to edit videos or just do any sort of computer work that I wanna do. Um, above it I have this cute little shelf with some of the Jaclyn Hill palettes only because they're white and I just like the aesthetic of them. Um, that's a fake eucalyptus plant, obviously. But in here I have, these are just frames that I took out the picture of. Oh my gosh, you can see me in it. Um, here, let's see. So they're just a frame that I took the picture out of the inside and I put some like real eucalyptus in there and that's from my brother-in-law's wedding and sister-in-law Katie um so yeah I have both those there and a little candle and then down on my desk I keep all of my brushes that I don't use all the time um these are just like the extra ones that are just here just for looks basically the ones that I use are over on my makeup desk that we'll get to soon um, I have this cute little candle going. This is from At Home. This smells so good. It's like, it's just a nice, like, fresh, fresh scent. So, there's that. And then I'll kind of show you just like a quick glance of inside the drawers. So, I did a makeup declutter of, I think, this bottom drawer. I will put that up here. It'll pop up and you can click on it after this video is over if you want. Um, but that's just like my highlighters and things. This drawer has concealers and blushes in it, and then some mascaras in the back. These are just face palettes, so like highlighter palettes, blush palettes, contour palettes, things like that. I have eyelashes back there, and then this is some sponges. Okay, moving over to the other side. This is the one that I need to declutter, so I'm going to probably do another declutter video on this side of my makeup drawers because they're bad. They're really, really bad, you guys. So I have tons of palettes in here. Um, it goes back even further. There's another bin of palettes. Oh my gosh, I just knocked one over. This thing, you guys, do you even remember? This is so old. It's a Kat Von D one. And I'm 90% sure that none of these colors have been used. Okay, and then let's go into the next drawer. Oh my gosh, I keep See, they're so... I need to go through this, you guys. It's so messy. Okay, so this top drawer has a little bit of everything. Um, it started off being like... Listen, there's clear acrylic containers in there, but you just can't see them because it's so like overly full. It needs to be gone through. Um, there's a lot of single eyeshadows in here. Lip products. Eyebrow products. Um, let's go into this next drawer. This is like foundations and things, which I also need to go through because I bet a lot of these are not even good anymore. Like this, I think this is like probably like eight years old. So, oh, and more lip products looks like. So that's nice foundations. Over here we have like just my everyday jewelry. I have a big jewelry on more, but this is what I kind of wear on a day, like my daily jewelry. We have some hair clips in here, and then I love gold, so there's a lot of gold. 
necklaces and earrings, bracelets, things like that. This cute little cactus plant. This is the only plant I can keep alive. Okay, let's swing around over to my closet. Um, this is it's kind of just meant to be like more of a like like cute, but I keep the door shut, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we have shoes. I just kind of switched these all out because I usually keep like boots in here, but I'm not wearing boots anymore. So I brought all those out to our garage. You guys, this is like a fourth of my shoes. It's ridiculous. Um, so I'll give you a quick overview of what that looks like as well. So in these bins, I have like just like flats and things and like mule shoes. Um, and then down here, those are just shirts that I just like the coloring looks nice with my room. They're not anything I actually ever wear. There's like some jackets and stuff. Over here, we have some sandals and then I just have tennis shoes. I've, it's kind of like a season of tennis shoes. So I thought that was appropriate to put those all out right now. Down here, these are just bins with some more sandals more just like things that I like the color of another pair of sandals up there and then in this like shelving thing back here I have I've been really getting into like painting and stuff so I have quite the collection of paints and then some like drawing pads and stuff and then some art supplies um some more art supplies this top one just has like for like if I do like flatly photos that's props for that and then this is for when I'm sending out um, orders, so I just have some packaging supplies there. Okay, so next to that closet, I just have these cute little like shelves I made, and they're actually really dusty right now, so oops. But they are, it's just the inside of a picture frame, so like the glass part of a picture frame, and then I used the black macrame cord to tie it on the sides. And it's really cute. But yeah, look how dusty. That's just, I'm disgusting. I'm gross. Okay, so then I have my mirror. Um, and then this little vase. I, oops. Um, I actually used it. I flipped it upside down and put it on a stand over there. So that when I'm recording makeup videos, it just kind of holds it up higher. I have my ring light. A um, tripod. That Okay, I'm going to show you guys something. This is hilarious I need a new tripod so bad literally just pops right off <laughs> there's been so many times I've been filming with this tripod and it just like falls off and my camera drops to the ground so love that okay on this shelf here I have a TV that I hook my I usually watch things on my iPad and then I will like connect it to the TV so that I can watch stuff because I sit right here to do my makeup um up top, I just had this like clear box with like twinkle lights in it, so that's super cute. A little fake plant, because like I said, I kill everything. Um, this bin just has all of my Cenogens products that I have for sale, so I have a lot, you guys. This is ridiculous. Um, a couple books that I don't read. Then down here, I'm a big note person, so. These are just all of my notebooks that I keep notes on. And then, like I told you guys, I'm an artist now. So, if you go check out my TikTok, I do, um, I do fun little art paintings. <laughs> so, that's really fun. Fun, fresh, creative cast. You know. Um, and then we have my pens, because I'm addicted to pens. In this jar, we have the jar of scrunchies. So I'm addicted to scrunchies as well. Like, I should just do like a scrunchie video to show you guys all my scrunchies because, I mean, you kidding me? Moving on next to the scrunchies, this is just a little filing cabinet that I keep different things in it as far as like sale receipts, um, just projects that I have going on. I keep those in here. Um, next to it, I have a little basket with like stuff that I've never looked at for the last like probably five years so there's that down here this is my declutter bin so this is just from one of my declutter videos product that I need to go through and decide where it's gonna go whether like to somebody or throw away or donate then we have some like I don't know it's, it's hiding you can't even see that from anywhere so that's just junk it's my little junk corner a little bag that I use I used to take to work when I when I had a job and I worked. That, that would be my my work bag. 
but R.I.P. Okay, moving on to my makeup desk that I sit at when I'm filming makeup videos. Um, it's just right from a big mirror or window. I don't really want to show it outside the window. But how cute is this chair? It's like, I love the vibes of it. It's like super like, kind of like almost 70s vibe. And also I have a problem with like not taking off tags. So it was $69 at, at home. So, yep, that tag will be on for years to come. Then we have this side I keep like makeup so, like this is my everyday makeup um I'll go ahead and switch that out with some of the makeup from the other drawers but on a day-to-day -day basis this is what I use this drawer just has like junk in it that you know I'm just gonna shut that this is my personal stash of Senegence products that I use this is hair products and then this one just has like my straightener and like blow dryer and stuff. On top I just have, look at all these scratches. Like you guys, I'm just, seriously I told you I'm disgusting. Um, these are my makeup brushes that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. My mirror, this little rock that I just found. So I set it there because it's cute. Um, this acrylic jar that just sits on my desk is for when I'm doing makeup videos that like I want specific products to be used. So I'll go and get them from the other drawers and put them in here and then... Just bring that over here with me. These drawers are like, I don't know. Yeah, that's what they all look like. Oh, here's another art, another art project. Oh shoot, I hope it doesn't have passwords on it. Um, I, I'm really, I really care about my artwork, so like I make sure I, I keep it nice. So this is an art project I did. Oh, and I got money in there too. Cool. Oh, and cards. I have a problem with buying cards, like. If I am at TJ Maxx, I just, like, love buying cute cards. So I always have them. If I know somebody who's, like, graduating, I have a card. And it's 70 cents. Are you kidding me? That's so cute. That's why cute like, Walmart ones. Okay, I'm not going to go through the other drawers either because I think that they probably have, like, they might have personal information. But it's just, like, paperwork and stuff in there. Alright guys, so that is it. That is my makeup room slash like personal little office area. Um, so I really want to do something with it as far as like redecorating. So like that's why I don't have a lot of a lot of decorations in here is I just want to redo it. Like I want to bring in like some more earthy tones and I kind of want to paint this back wall white with like black splotches like almost like cow print. But I don't know if that'd be stupid. What do you guys think? Because I didn't be in the background of all my videos. Because this is where I sit. So I don't know. Would that be cute? Might be weird. I, I don't want to do it and then regret it. And then, I don't know. So, thanks for coming along with me in my makeup room tour. I will probably do an updated one if I ever redo it. But then this will be like a nice way for me to look back and like see like, oh, that's what my makeup room used to look like. Also, if you see like a week from now in a video that something's different, I change things all the time. Like, like all the time I'm constantly changing decor around so something could be completely different next week and it could have been completely different last night so yeah I don't know I'm gonna go guys thanks for watching and I will see you on Tuesday all right be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride because I want to be close to you and I want to show you something new